Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Local 5 News tonight. I'm Robin Oginye. A few Vietnam veterans found the grave marker of one of their fallen comrades visiting for the first time since the war. Local 5's John Dommel brings us inside Holy Rosary Cemetery in Kiwani, where these Marines finally reunited. Right. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi, Terry. It's been a long time coming. You know, wanted to thought about it over the years and almost came a few times. And I figured after almost 54 years, it was time. Always faithful. These Marines have lived by that motto since enlisting. And at no other time than at the gravesite of their brother in arms have those words meant more. Terry Newmeyer was 21 years old. We all remember his roaring laugh that echoed throughout the walls in the squad bay. You always hear Terry laughing, his loud, boisterous laugh. Seeing his grave marker caused a deep-seated realization to resurface. The year was 1965. Once every hour, one of us corporals would walk around the perimeter to make sure somebody was awake at every position. And when I came back in from my hour, about 2 o'clock in the morning, Terry had in his sleep rolled over onto my poncho. So my question at the time was, do I roll him back on his own poncho or I just crawl in on his and let him sleep? And that's what I did. So everything that hit me went through him first. And that's a story I've been carrying around for 53 years. About 40 pieces of shrapnel still hit him, but he made it home. Something I've had to live with for all these years. It should, probably should have been me, but on the other hand, I'm thankful it wasn't. How do, I, how do you explain that, you know? These Marines have shown that distance and time can never break the bond found only in combat. I probably equate it to going to my mother and father and sister's graves, you know. It's a, it's a brother. Yeah, it's a brother, for sure. Reporting in Kiwani, John Dommel, Local 5 News. And those Marines first found Newmeyer's resting place after researching at findagrave.com.